much, everybody, for being here today. Uh, I'm here basically to introduce someone that is very important to our community. As a freshman legislator in 2009, you, you tend to find people that are seen, more senior that you can kind of look up to. I wanted to be a fighter, so I need to find a, a fighter. So that fighter that I looked, one, one that I looked up to was Sandy Adams. She fought hard. She fought hard for the things that she believed in. Uh, especially, she became known for homeland security and public safety issues. And I'll tell you one thing: in the two years that I served with her in the Florida House, she was so determined to fight for what she believed in. There was members that were actually scared of of uh, Sandy Adams. <laughs> that year, I sponsored the Health Care Freedom Act. And I had to look to a senior member. Uh, this was this was fight back against the individual mandate that could help me because as a freshman, you have less influence. And that person was Sandy Adams, is one of my first co-sponsors. It was a great loss to the Florida House when she left in 2010. But the Florida House's loss was America's gain when she was elected to the 112th Congress of the United States of America. She could quickly distinguished herself as a conservative fighter, not somebody that was there just to go along to get along. Last April, the New York Times profiled a few of the new members of Congress. Here's what they said about Sandy. Raised in a military family and someone who left high school to join the Air Force at 17, later getting a GED and college degree, then became deputy sheriff, members and leaders of her caucus consider her thoughtful, a person who mulls carefully every decision and can be counted on to be extremely steely even in the face of opposition. In the same New York Times article, they went on to give awards like, you know, they do, like, most likely to succeed, most popular. She got the award for the toughest congressperson of the new class. Yeah. You know, it's good to know, though, that Free Enterprise is still alive here in America. Uh, did you know that you can buy action figure dolls now of uh, Michelle Bachman, Sarah Palin, Nikki Haley, uh, great conservative figures like that. I think there's a total of six of those. One of those is a is a is a uh, action figure of Sandy Adams, now. and you can actually accessorize it. And I'm not I'm not making this up. You can accessorize it with a 45 caliber handgun. <laughs> so it is now my great honor to introduce one of the new generation of conservative leaders in our country. A true bright, shining star in a very dark, dark place called Washington, D.C. right now, Congresswoman Sandy Adams.